Hi, it's Mrs. Love. Um, I have been looking through some poetry collections, and I think uh, this is a good place to start um, for us to, to discuss poetry and um, have a conversation, even though it's remotely. It's not in person, just not my preference, but here we go. So I'm going to challenge you to see if you can find some poetry that really fits these days and this time and the way you're feeling and write poetry. So be prepared to, um, you know, look up some more um, information about that in the very near future. Uh, this first poem I'm going to share is by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Uh, right here it says, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, born 1872, and the author of numerous collections of poetry and prose, was one of the first African-American poets to gain national recognition. So he lived from 1872 to 1906. Um, I want to find out more information about him. This is from um, poets.org, and I strongly recommend that you sign up for the poem a day here uh, with your email address. So let's begin. We wear the mask. We wear the mask that grins and lies and hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile, with torn and bleeding hearts we smile, and mouth the myriad subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us while we wear the mask. We smile, but, O oh, great Christ, our cries to thee from tortured souls arise. We sing, but, O oh, the clay is vile beneath our feet in the long mile. But let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. All right, I think this has a multiple meanings um, in this poem, and I would love to hear what you think and your thoughts. So I'm going to post this to our blog, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts.